know if you're going to be in, but I feel like when they come in, I'm going to be in the family. Good anyway. morning, Christy. Good morning. This is Patrick. He'll be your nurse for today. Hi. The LNA will be Joe. Patrick, this is Christy and her daughter, Rachel. Good morning. Good morning. We're going to do something called Nurse Knowledge Exchange, or Bedside Report. We're going to review the events of the night, your plan of care, and goals for the day. I encourage you to participate, so please feel free to add any detail or ask questions at any time. Okay. Okay. Thank you. While I check your wristband, could you please state your full name and date of birth? My name is Christy A. Jordan, and my birthday is January 27, 1940. Thank you. Okay. Christy Jordan is a 75-year-old female, full code, allergies to meperidine. She was transported from the ED after a fall. As a result of her fall, she fractured her left tibia and sprained her right wrist. She was on call to the OR for an open reduction internal fixation. Her past medical history includes hypertension and high cholesterol. I released all of her pending orders, as you can see. Yes, great. The patient is alert and oriented, although hard of hearing. Heart rate's regular, lungs are clear, positive bowel sounds. Her left foot is slightly cool but pink, plus two pedal pulses, no edema. Okay. And her right wrist is slightly swollen, but all of her other extremities are within defined limits. Okay. She does have an indwelling urinary catheter for perioperative use, with this intended surgery lasting greater than two hours. Her output has been adequate. Okay. Pain overnight has been between a three and a four out of 10. It was well controlled with the morphine she received in the ED. She does have oxycodone tablets ordered every four hours as needed. Her last dose was given at six o'clock this morning. Christy, on a scale of zero to 10, 10 being the worst, how is your pain right now? I would say it's at about a two, it's okay for now. Using that same pain scale, at what level is your pain tolerable? Well, it was worse than this before they gave me those pills, so I would say anything above a two is difficult for me. Okay. I will assess your pain throughout the day. Okay. Please let me know if it starts to get worse. Oh. This is your call, Bell. Okay. Red button gets the nurse if okay. you need anything. Oh, good. Okay, thank you. We hate to ring a lot because we know how busy you are. But remember, Mom, use your call bell if you're having any pain at all. I will, Rachel. Don't worry. Thank you both. We definitely want you to ring if you need anything. I will. Her skin is intact. She has a preventative sacral mepilex in place. Patrick will do a full skin assessment once I leave. Okay. okay. We're going to take a quick look at your IVs and your lines. All right. She has two intact IVs in her left forearm, one saline locked, and one with D5.5 normal saline with 20 of K running at 100. Okay. And you can also see her urinary catheter. Yes. After surgery, we will work on discontinuing your urinary catheter to prevent a catheter-associated urinary tract infection. That sounds good. Now, Christy, as we had talked about, you're considered at high risk to fall, so we don't want you getting out of bed. We've set the bed alarm for your safety, and if you do need to use the bathroom or anything, please ring using that okay, red button. I will do that. My mom did fall last year. She tripped on an area rug in her kitchen, so we had to remove these rugs to prevent future falls. I'm sorry to hear that you fell. During your recovery, we will assist you in preventing future falls. Christy is second on call to the OR this morning, tentatively set for 10.30. She has had nothing by mouth to eat or drink since midnight. It is important that you do not eat or drink before going to the OR. Upon returning from the OR, our initial goals will be pain management and mobility. We will work to assist you to get to the edge of the bed or even possibly up to the chair. And then something to eat, I hope. I will work with the doctor to get you a diet order. Good. <laughs> I'll be hungry. Now we're going to check your room and equipment. Bed alarm on. Call bell in reach. Suction works. Massimo on, and we are getting a good reading. All your equipment looks great. Your call bell is right here. Yep. And here's your Massimo pager. Thank you.
Christy, it's been a pleasure being your nurse. I'm back tonight, so I'll see you after your surgery. Do you have any questions or want to add anything? No, I don't think so, but thank you very much. No, thanks, Brittany. You're welcome. See you tonight. Is there anything else I can do for you? I have time. No, I think I'm okay. I just am eager to get the surgery over with. We will be in about every hour to check on you. Okay. The LNA Joe will be in at 8 to take your vital signs. All right. If there's anything else you need, please use your call bell. I will. Okay. Thank you very much, both of you. See you tonight. Yes, you. have a good day. See you soon.